Okay, so I'm in WSJTX, and I just want to show you how I do my logging to my Amateur Contact Manager. So I have WSJTX running, and I'm trying to make a contact with Italy right now. All right, so he just got my signal. I'm sending him a Roger, and I should be getting a 73 from him uh, on the next go around. So I have WSJTX set up in settings rec reporting. I have prompt me to log QSO. Uh, and that's the only thing I really have set up. So what happens is whenever WS uh, JTX sees a 73, it opens up this little dialog box and it wants me to confirm the QSO to logging it. Uh, everything is populated automatically. I have my transmit power set at 65 and I have this little retain button checked. So it always stays 65 with my radio set at unless I manually change it. So all I do here is hit okay. And let me just try to grab one other station Here's uh, Germany with a good signal. Let's see if I can grab them. Okay, and here's my logging box that popped up. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm just going to finish sending my 73s, and then I'm going to exit WSJT. Okay, so there's my 73. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my logging program, Amateur Contact Log. And I just made three contacts. Uh, well, my last one I have logged is from the ARRL, actually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to File, Import ADIF File. And in on my C drive under users under Frank app data local WSJTX, here is the ADI file that the WSJTX created for me. So I'm going to double click on that, and you're going to see those three contacts I just made just come into the uh, contact manager. So what I do here is I highlight the three entries I just brought in. Notice there's no name or comments field. So you highlight the ones you just imported. I go to edit. Fill fields determined by call and select the records. And what this does is this goes to QRZ, I guess, and it pulls up all the uh, all the information. So now I'll just go to e-logs, logbook of the world, all contacts not uploaded, and there should be three contacts. Here's three new QSOs right here. So I'll go exclude duplicates, and it's complete. So I've just uploaded them to Logbook of the World. One thing you have to remember to do after you import that ADI file is these records still stay in, those first three records still stay in the WSJTX ADI file. So what I do is I'll go File, Import ADIF File. I'll go to the location, I'll click that ADI file, and I'm going to hit the Delete key. So I just deleted that log from WSJTX. I no longer need it because it's in my contact manager. When I open up WSJTX and start logging new contacts, it creates a new ADI file. So now, this information is already uploaded to Logbook of the World. I'm going to close that out, and I'm going to go to QRZ. Now in QRZ, I'm going to go, I'm logged in, I'm going to go to my call sign on the far right and my logbook. When I'm in my logbook, I'm going to go, notice how the last call is W1AW. When I'm in my logbook, I'm going to go to settings. Now I have a key set up already for uh, my logbook of the world, but what I do here is I go to download from LT logbook of the world. So when I hit download, and I put my password in, 
it's going to download all the contacts from logbook of the world and here there were my three contacts right there three QSOs recorded now if I go to refresh remember ARRL was the last one here are my three new entries so from my contact manager I upload it to logbook of the world and then once I'm in QRZ's logbook I download from logbook of the world all right, I hope that uh, helps a few people out how, to, how I do logging.